I mean, we're worried about new AI technology taking over the world. We're worried about the mouse. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right. Walt Disney Studios has released their schedule that is uh, all the Fox movies and all the Disney movies, all the Marvel movies, everything. They just released their entire lineup for pretty much, uh, let's see, all the way to <laughs> pretty much for the next, like, uh, uh, eight years, it looks like. Well, so, sort of. But uh, And a lot of things are going on here, so I'm not even going to ramble too much about it. As you can see, I have the first page right here that is 2019 which we already know what's going on we already know that new mutants got bumped again uh well yeah yeah dark phoenix of course is coming out on the seventh but uh new mutants i guess just <laughs> seriously what's going on with that movie everything's pretty much locked in for this movie i'm actually looking forward to ford versus ferrari that's uh james mangold um matt damon uh christian bale looking forward to that actually that's going to be an interesting one Bob's Burgers. Did not know that they were making a movie on that. That's pretty interesting. We got Mulan. We got some Untitled ones. Now, I'm guessing that Untitled Marvel, when it comes to 5-1, I'm guessing that could be possibly Black Widow because that's supposed to be shot next. Then there's one for 11-6, and it makes you wonder what that is as well. Who knows? Could be... I don't know what's supposed to be coming after that. They haven't really... Marvel Studios hasn't really released what they're planning on doing next. What's uh, kind of disappointing about this, though, is like, and I wonder, too, I mean, I guess not, because I guess Deadpool is still technically Fox, and I guess if they were going to have an untitled Marvel for Deadpool, it'd be under Fox? Not seeing anything here, but I'm not losing hope. I'm still thinking they better keep Deadpool alive, and if they don't, I mean, it's just, they have to have a wide range of, of I don't know. We'll see. So it's up in the air. We still got the Kingsman prequel that's going to be coming out next year, next February, which should be interesting. Jungle Cruise, yeah, I'm having an untitled Disney animation, huh? West Side Story. Okay, so I remember there was like a lot of uh, commotion saying that they were heavily looking at that and thinking about not doing that. A lot of people got in a huffy puffy mood, but uh, it's Steven Spielberg. I don't think that that was even true. But, you know, doomsday scenarios for, for everything. But uh, then you got the 2021, and you got a lot of untitled Marvel. A lot of untitled Disney live action. Like, what the fuck is going on? Indiana Jones, that's still coming out. 2021, I mean, my God, it's getting so old. What's pretty crazy, though, is Christmas is going to be pretty nuts for the next few years. Because not only are we getting the last Star Wars this Christmas... Well, when it comes to, well, 2020, let me go back, sorry. 2020 Christmas next year, I guess, is just going to be Cruella. So nothing really crazy there. But then you got Avatar 2, which got bumped again, but it's, I guess it's going to be finally coming out in two years, <laughs> two and a half years. Jesus Christ. I don't think that it has anything to do with uh, what's happening at the box office right now. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of, a lot of crap coming out. Nimona. What is that? I don't even know what that is. But uh, we got Pixar. We got a bunch of untitled stuff. And it's like, you know this shit's not going to... It's going to change. It definitely going to change. 2022 has three untitled Marvels. And, you, you know, your best bet is Doctor Strange in there, another Spider-Man in there, Black Panther somewhere in there. You got to wonder what they're going to be doing. If I don't know. It's up in the air. I'm sure Captain Marvel's going to be in there. And then we got... The, uh, the announcement of the new Star Wars trilogy, which is going to start in 2022. Remember that they said that they were going to wait a little bit and blah, blah, blah? Yep, that ain't happening there, folks. Looks like Ryan Johnson maybe is still happening. That's still up in the air. I've been hearing things. I don't know what's going to happen. But uh, 2022, uh, 12, 16, 2022 is when we're going to get that first wave of uh that first new star wars trilogy and then of course it's just gonna jump every two years we're gonna get that trilogy same and then every other <laughs> this is crazy because every other year we're gonna get the avatar sequels you got in 2023 25 and 27 we're getting those avatar sequels what i'm really hoping with these avatar sequels is well i know james cameron wants to have glasses free 3d he already like 
he already blew us away with the the 3D technology he used for the first one, which is why, which is like a big reason why that movie did so well because it was such a fucking experience. It's a great movie too. Don't get me wrong. It's just, but that that 3D like wowed everybody. And uh, it just was an overall good movie, and it just totally just paved the way, which is what he does. He just knows how to just think ahead and go, like, what can I do to just further, you know, people's experience at the movies? That's why the man is one of the greats. So uh, there you go, guys. I'll have, I'm going to post these on my website if you want to go, like, run through them and see the dates and everything. You know, like, a lot of this is not going to change. Of course, this year's locked in. Next year's probably pretty locked in. But we'll see. There's a lot of untitled shit over here, and you just got to wonder what is going to feel all that stuff. What else could they do live action? What else are they going to do? I mean, sequels, I guess? Oh, man. Eh, I guess so. There you have it, guys. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about all this? Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Visit filmjunkie.com for all my content. Follow me on all that social media stuff right there, including Patreon if you want to help out the ship. And I got shirts and stuff down below. All right, guys? Talk to you.